you are going to want to sell all of your pinatas right now before it's too late in pet simulator 99 if you have been grinding at all recently you might have felt like something was just a little bit off now if you felt that way you are in no way wrong because the pinatas in particular have been feeling very light as of recently and a lot of people are actually calling out big games because they feel like this nerf was really unnecessary and it was actually like a very big one but we actually did get word from a developer about this and it might be a total mistake but we'll go over that later in this video because as you guys probably know Preston has assured us that there are no silent nerfs happening in the background of the game so we should have nothing to worry about right well not exactly because in this video we're going to be going over just how much these pinatas were nerfed and I will be able to show you guys exactly how much these things are going to be worth it for you guys even if you don't have super drops so by testing these pinatas before for this nerf and after this week's update i can tell you without a doubt how much these things have fallen in value and surprisingly enough the wrap value of these items have not fallen very much at all as always i value truth and transparency within our community and that's the reason why i'm making today's video so if you guys want to support my cause all i ask is that you give the video a like and subscribe for more also if you guys did want access to an unfiltered mateo i do stream gta roleplay over on twitch almost every single day of the week the link to my twitch channel will be down in the description below i'd love to see some of the members of my roblox community in there as well so without further delay let's get into exactly how bad this nerf actually is all right you guys so first off i do want to give a shout out to d field because he is the one that actually brought this to my attention d field is another great pet simulator 99 content creator so i definitely suggest checking out his channel i also have the tweet that actually inspired this video up on the screen somewhere here as well now really quickly some background before we actually get into these tests if you guys don't know what a pinata is in pet simulator 99 essentially pinatas are just a drop that you get from breakables so you get them in pretty much every area as you can see i have quite a bit of them i have 2808 in my inventory now if you actually go ahead and use this you can spawn one in in whatever little breakables area that you're in and then once you actually go ahead and destroy this pinata it's going to drop you a certain amount of gift bags now as you guys can see i got three regular gift bags from that pinata and this is actually where we can see how big of a nerf we got because prior to this week's update we were actually getting around 10 gift bags from every pinata that we break but now from my testing it seems like we're only getting one to four gift bags for every pinata that we break as you can see from this one we got one large gift bag and two regular gift bags so essentially going from 10 gift bags per pinata to four is a major nerf now another thing you do need to know about pinatas in pet simulator is that if you do have the super drops game pass it actually does allow you to get a lot more gift bags from those pinatas now since this nerf with super drops the lowest amount of gift bags that i've gotten from one pinata was actually three but if you don't have super drops i got as low as one single gift bag from a pinata which is pretty crazy because as you guys can see the wrap value of these is 30,500. now previously before this update on average from breaking one of these pinatas if you didn't have super drop you were going to be getting 32,500. so it really wasn't worth it for people to actually be farming these if they don't have super drops but where the real profit comes in is if you do have super drops before this update you were actually getting a whopping 57,000 diamonds on average in gift bags from destroying a pinata so essentially what people would do is just buy up a load of these and then just set an auto clicker to automatically place these pinatas all night and then farm all the gift bags and then sell them in the morning all right you guys so sorry for the flashbang but i do have a spreadsheet of the actual numbers that I've got from my tests. So I'm going to move my face over here and this is the data that I actually got from each of the tests that I did. So as you can see, I opened 50 of these pinatas for each type of account. So I did one with no super drops, then super drops, and then I did another test with super drops and then no super drops after this latest nerf. Now keep in mind, I did do these original tests in update 12, but these pinatas have not been changed since then. Me and my clan did some more recent tests and found to have the same exact numbers. So this data should be pretty accurate to what it was exactly before this latest update so as you guys can see here with no super drops in update 12 you were getting an average of 32,571 wrap 
in a single pinata. Now, if you want to see the actual numbers of what I was getting from pinatas without super drops, it was something like this. I would get zero large gift bags, 10 small, and then I got two large and eight small. I'd get one large, eight small. So on average, I was getting between like nine and 11 gift bags in total without super drops, but I was pretty consistently not getting large gift bags, which is really the majority of the value that you get from these pinatas. And then if we go over to the super drop, side in update 12 i was getting 57,879 rep per pinata now if you want to see this in data that means on average i was getting around two large gift bags per pinata sometimes even up to four actually in my 47th pinata i actually did get five large gift bags so that was a total of 84,000 rep in that just one pinata so essentially before this update if you had super drops these pinatas were very valuable pretty much the number one thing that you can grind overnight and make a consistent profit with. Now it gets really dark when we actually go over to the post nerf numbers. So this is the number that I've gotten without super drops in this latest update. As you can see, I've gotten 12,000 diamonds in wrap value on average from opening these pinatas without super drops. So as you guys can see, sometimes I would just get one singular regular gift bags and no large gift bags at all. Honestly, getting large gift bags was extremely rare without super drops in this latest nerf. But as you can see that is a significantly lower number let me just make this bold for you guys so basically if the rep values of pinatas are currently 35k it is impossible to even profit at all with a singular pinata open the highest value that i got from opening all of these pinatas in total was a singular time i got 30,780 diamonds worth of value and this was really rare that's a one out of 50 chance to get something like that and even if you do get that you're still at a loss so it's very bad right now for these pinatas and then if we go over to the super drop side you'll see that on average i was making 18,500. so even if you do have super drops these pinatas were nerfed absolutely into the ground it is so bad that's why i encourage you guys to sell these right now before people realize how bad these things have gotten now i say that but i will warn you guys they could potentially reverse this change because it seems like according to one of the developers that this was not an intentional change at all so these pinatas could just be bugged it's honestly hard to tell you guys what to do because i'm not in the heads of big games right now i don't know if they are going to change this or keep it the way it is forever because i'll have this tweet on the screen here from connor who is a developer for big games and according to him the pinatas were not touched at all in this update so if we are to believe this is true then the developers would go ahead and reverse whatever actually happened it could just be some sort of bug that's making these pinatas actually drop less so i do want to give big games the benefit of the doubt here in that it could just be some weird bug that like was caused by something they put in the game now if they do go ahead and actually reverse this change it would be a very good time to actually go ahead and pick up some of these pinatas even if you guys do not have super drops just buying these and then flipping them for more when the reverse actually happens could generate you guys a quite a bit of profit now there's also the possibility that that Connor just didn't know that these were changed and that this was an intentional change from the developers on the other side of big games. And if that is the case, it is kind of weird how much big games likes to silently nerf things. And honestly, it shouldn't be up to the players of the game to constantly be testing every single little item in the game to see if big games just decided to up and change it every week. One thing I would like to see from big games is more communication with the player base on things that they change. So as you guys know, they like to change the odds of getting huges from events and eggs and stuff like that. So it would be really nice if we had some sort of change log that they would put in constantly. That's not just like a weekly change log because the the big changes that they put in these dev blogs are pretty obvious most of the time so it would be nice if there was like a consistent change log that they updated every day with the little things that they're changing it's not right that players in this game have to find out about things like this from me and other influencers from the game they should be able to just log in and know what's been changed so that everybody is on a fair playing field either way though let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this major nerf and if you think it's fair that big games has done this 
Also, whether or not you think Big Games is going to reverse it and it was just an overall mistake in general. Personally, I'm giving Big Games the benefit of the doubt here and saying that it was an unintentional change and that we could potentially see this reverse either in the next update or in the next few days in a live patch. Either way, though, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one and peace out.